Watch the way the old alums do it now. Watch. Re- I gotta go to the bathroom. We graduated in the class of 1950. This is our 60th year. So we have about uh, five of our classmates here tonight. And uh, it's when pharmacy school was down on 14th and Davenport, as was the medical school. And so when we had classes down at the college, but something, some course up on the hill like English or physics, we had to walk up to the college here. And the only uh, exception really was our uh, organic chemistry. That professor came down to the pharmacy school. Otherwise, it was back and forth. I was going to tell a little story about, I forgot already. You see, when you graduate 50 years ago, can't remember everything. What was I going to tell? We had five nuns in our class. We had 27 students, five of which were nuns. All the nuns did was pray and study, study and pray. Now the rest of us were trying to lead a normal life, drinking, carousing, partying, a little studying, working in drugstores. And we were also in those days graded on the curve. Now guess who screwed up the curve? The good nuns. There was no bell curve, it was just Anyway, we love them. Two of them are here tonight. Well, she's oh, only got okay. one microphone, right. so I have to let, stand here like this. Let me know when you're ready. Bill Nosek said, whatever we say, don't embarrass him. Now, I don't know if Nosek could ever be embarrassed, but we're going to reminisce about the class of 1960 in pharmacy. Say something, Ed. Well, my, one of my big memories <laughs> is about our professor, Savi Puricello. And he was, you know, vertically height challenged. And when I was a freshman, he took me aside and said, don't ever let me give you any crap about being short. And from that day on, I've always remembered that. I came to school on the GI Bill after World War II. Tuition was $500. Allowance, allowance for the GI Bill was $500 per year. And I only exceeded it in my last year because I went to summer school. So tuition is slightly changed. <laughs> I'm Bob Abramson, class of 60, and I was one of Salvatore Greco's kids. And I can tell you right now that you can give all the awards in the world away, but I'm really not going to be happy until you finally acknowledge his good works. Because if it wasn't for him, a lot of us wouldn't be standing here tonight acknowledging other people. But our class of 60 was fortunate enough to have one of the greatest teachers I've ever experienced in my 72 years of life, a woman named Ann Serwinski. It was Dr. Serwinski, but she was phenomenal. She's gone now. She too was a Creighton graduate. And Subby Piricello, class of 36, I believe, who couldn't be here tonight another one of our professors. Ed, Ed was my roommate and we had the best time and we connected of course coming back for our 50 year reunion and we visited some old haunts today we used to stay in an apartment in a basement apartment over on Douglas Street and we didn't have any parties back then because we were extremely serious students. Definitely. We knew that the education and pharmacy was extremely important. So we just wanted to behave and do everything that we could to graduate. Do you think she's still recording this? She is recording it, I'm sure. Oh, okay. Creighton is near and dear to my heart. I'm so happy to be here. I'm thrilled with the campus, the way it looks today, a tribute, obviously, to Father Schlegel. And other than that, I have nothing more to say other than keep going, Creighton.